So guys, 27 immigrants who are seeking asylum yet to get document in Italy have just been arrested. And about two of them have been given quick notice that they will no longer continue to stay in Italy. This is the story here. Padova Police Headquarters, the state police continues with their prevention and control activities in Via Tomasio. These are people, including Nigerians, so they say one guy, one Nigerian guy of 27 years of age is also amongst these people that have just been arrested now. These are people who came to seek asylum in the country. You define document. You never get them. Instead of you to cool down, focus on waiting, carry you come. You say na, you say na crime. Maybe in the camp when in deal, eh, uh -huh, you get bad guys. We don't they deal already. We'll be saying maybe because of their own wahala, they never still give them paper. As you come, you go still join this bad gang. Begin to continue where they don't stop. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry for you that there is no hope for you. There is no hope. You may end up being sent back to where you are coming from. Let us quickly take a look at what is happening here. Now, the reason why we are bringing you all these stories is for people to learn from the mistakes of others. So you will not enter into the same trap thinking that you are a sharp guy. <laughs> for Europe here, no sharp guy. Because there are eyes looking at you from different angles. In fact, I heard that each immigrant, each immigrant, or each and every one of us who came from uh, Africa, maybe probably through the Mediterranean Sea, mostly have somebody who is monitoring you. One person who is always monitoring your movement and your doings. So, in whatever you do, somebody who you don't know, who, who never recognized, who, ne who you never recognized, who you never ever thought that he has your record, he's always following you around. So be careful of what you do. All right? So let me quickly uh, give you the full details of uh, what happened, the lowdown of how they arrested these 27 people. Now, they say that 27 people identified almost all asylum seekers. He said that almost all of them are asylum seekers. One arrested for heroin dealing and three compulsory exit notices and two urban daspo ordered by the police officer. Quickly, full details. As part of the prevention and patrolling activity of the territory carried out by the state police of Padova, that is Padua, on the afternoon of July 18th, 2024, in Via Tomasio, the officers of the police headquarters identified 27 people who were camping in the green area located near the roundabout that assesses the street and arrested a 27-year-old Nigerian in, frag in flagrant delicto of drug dealing. In particular, the plainclothes men of the flying squad passing through the area near the underpass at the beginning of the aforementioned street noticed an Italian citizen approaching a subject and handing him a 20 euro note receiving in exchange a nylon package that the man took from his ha his mouth and which contained as later as attend a dose of white powder a dose of heroin a dose of crook <laughs> So this one now I had them inside my as a talo give him 20 card. Now he remove them. Pyam! He give them for hand. So camera, do all those police we know they wear uniform. Now he capture them. Now then see them. The officers promptly stopped both of them. Both the Italian, Italian man who confirmed the purchase of the drugs and the seller who was arrested and held at the police station awaiting a summary trial scheduled for Friday 19th July at the end of which he was sentenced to eight months in prison and to pay a fine of 800 euros for this very crime. So I say, don't commit this crime now. They don't record and say, this guy, he they sell bad market inside our country and he will pay 800 euros fine at the time when he don't serve in prison finish before he go come out. If you no pay, maybe he will continue to stay there. 
Now, they said the 20, this is a 27-year-old Nigerian citizen with a criminal record for the commission of crimes in violation of the legislation of narcotics. In fact, he had been sentenced in January 2023 to a four-month prison sentence and to pay a fine of 800 euros as well. So this person has a criminal record which he doesn't want to wipe. He wants to make it every year a repetition. He wants to repeat it every year. Now, according to information, with a suspended sentence, and in July of the same year, he had been sentenced to six months prison sentence and to pay a fine of 1,000 euros, again, with the benefit of the suspended sentence. The anti-crime division personnel also proceeded to notify three expulsion orders from Padova issued by the police chief against a 31-year-old, a 27-year-old, and 25-year-old Nigerian citizens checked during the service carried out in Via Tomasio. With previous police records and criminal convictions for possession of narcotics for the purpose of dealing and property crimes, including aggravated theft and damage. These people, these are now three Nigerians now, now will they talk about here. Their own is just crime, 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 crime. You don't go, they sentence you for January four months in prison. That one no do you. In June, I'll be July, they sentence you again to six months in prison for you to pay 1,000 euros. After I judge them, they still cancel and may still the work out they go. You still you no know, do you. This year again, you don't start to commit another crime. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You get, after now, I go say, oh, now village people, they follow them when I make them, they do. Now, now what did they decide to do? If you be people will put hand like this now, say no level, now we get this country, now we they run up. Now, now them they run you. After you don't pack all these criminal records, one day now they will just decide and say, I beg, when I go with this one. They give an injection now where we say, in head now you go come calm down, you go come de cooler. The guy will now be calm. Now, two additional foreign citizens, specifically a 26 year old Nigerian and a 23 year old. Ivorian with previous convictions for carrying weapons and objects capable of causing, causing offenses and drug related crimes have been issued urban DASPO orders prohibiting access to the entire area of the station, including Via Tomasio, for three years. They don't tell them, they may they know near that place again you know, for three years. If they see them there, now deportation straight. That one, they know they pity anybody. The positions on the territory of all the subjects checked remain under examination by the administrative division for the adoption of any subsequent interdiction measures while the immigration office was immediately activated by the police chief of the province of Padua, Marco Odorizio, to verify the resident permit that the identified foreign citizens were found to be in possession of. Most of the 27 people identified were found to be holders of a resident permit for the purpose of requesting international protection or awaiting the outcome of an appeal against the negative decision of the competent commission on the aforementioned request. A commission to which any reports regarding the subjects subjected to checks will be sent once the police and criminal records of each of them have also been ascertained. So you see, huh? so... <laughs> Somebody, you're, they give you negative. You go commission, they give you negative. Then you put an appeal and you now commit crime now. So the police now will now send your criminal record now. <laughs> go give judge. See, see, person, where will they wait for appeal? Oh? See what thing they do here. Oh? I think say you go get document. Now you go hear somebody, oh, I don't date this country for 10 years, no document. You know, go tell us what thing they behind no document. You know, go tell us in a crime when they commit regularly. Now, I make they never give them nothing, nothing. So, I beg my people, make we they use our common sense and remove hand from bad thing. Yeah? Uh -huh. Now, so it just take B. So, uh, that's the whole story about these guys. So, if you want send money, go Nigeria, please don't forget to use Tap Tap Send. Very easy, reliable, and efficient. Try to get this free money that they are giving if you use my promo code, which is Critics News. Thank you and God bless you. As you share this video, 